Hello, my name is Deborah Preston and I'm the Human Resources Manager at East Bay Center for the Performing Arts. And I grew up in Richmond. Both of my parents migrated to Richmond as children in 1942 during the Great Migration. East Bay Center has been a beacon of hope for over 50 years for 50,000 local youth from all walks of life. I am truly honored to be a part of an organization that supports and encourages social justice, equality, hard work, and creativity for the youth of Richmond. In celebration of Black History Month, we'd like to introduce you to some of the incredible black artists we have at East Bay Center. In addition to being renowned artists, they are also giving back to the community by sharing their talent with our young people and teaching the next generation of artists. We hope you enjoy them. My name is Francisco Fi Akotua, and I am from Ghana. From the age 10 up to now, I do focus on you know, drumming, singing. Kids need uh, music in their lives. Uh, at some point of time, you know, they need a little break to you know to experience something uh, new. They love it. So I get up and dance with them. I, I set an example, you know, I dance, sometimes they, they, they laugh at me, but I know they're not laughing because, you know, it's funny, but they, they you know, they're happy that I get up and dance. So I, I first set an example for them and then they follow the path. Down, up, down, up, and pe, 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 and one. That's how, I, that's how, you know, I win their, their heart. My name is Linda Steele II, and I was originally raised here in California in the Bay Area. And I was very fortunate to find the East Bay Center in 2018, where I started teaching the modern ballet class, and I've loved it ever since. So for as long as I can remember, I've always been a mover. I don't know if in the early years you could call it dance, <laughs> but I've always been a mover. What I really loved and what really made me come alive was improvisation. Just not having any sort of structure at all and just letting the body move as it needs to. Like I always say, I'm an improvisational dance artist because I've always nurtured that voice, that artistic freedom that I've always felt inside of myself to just really move and to be provoked by whatever is building or collecting or, or churning inside of me. The biggest part of teaching from my teaching experience has always been to create an environment where the student feels like they have the freedom to investigate. And then you let them loose and let them find their artistic voice, let them find the way their body connects with certain things. Mi nombre es Pierre Padilla Vázquez, soy de Perú, de la ciudad de Lima, y trabajé con East Bay Center desde junio del 2021. Lo que yo enseño con East Bay Center principalmente es una forma de arte que se llama zapateo. Lo identificamos como zapateo afroperuano porque fue algo que desarrollaron los afrodescendientes en el Perú. Con la prohibición, En el sistema esclavista, con la prohibición del uso de los tambores, los afrodescendientes lo que hicieron fue transportar todo su conocimiento y su memoria ancestral a su cuerpo. Entonces, así nace el zapateo afroperuano, ¿no? como una manera de mantener viva la memoria ancestral y de mantener vivas estas tradiciones que se conjugan en el Perú. Mi familia es una de las familias guardianas de la música y la danza afroperuana. Entonces, yo aprendí a zapatear en mi familia. Es importante que lleven clases de, estos, de estas disciplinas artísticas de otros países, porque les da mucho más riqueza cultural a su, a su crecimiento, ¿no? a su desarrollo. 
My name is Philip Amoy Japan. I'm originally from Ghana and I've been teaching at the East Bay Center for the Performing Arts since 2016. I teach dance. Um, I got very interested in dance at the University of Ghana when I was in my third year. The study of dance made me know my culture a lot, made me um, have, you know, uh, more information about diversity because of what they are learning dances from different cultures. For so the dance that I'm in, most interested in is the traditional dance forms where these dances are tied up with different traditions and so understanding these dances make me appreciate more diversity or people from different backgrounds. And also the next one is the African popular dances which are created by most, most often by the marginalized youth and um, you know, their voices, their voices are being expressed in this music, in, the, in these dance forms and that is also a very interesting thing, you know, to kind of decode these dance forms and know what the youth are actually saying with their movement. Meeting people from different places actually enriches you because then you learn from them. So though I'm teaching these kids who are from different, you know, cultural backgrounds and different spaces, uh, meeting together and sharing that dance and hearing from them and, you know, expressing their sentiment through dance, uh, it's a great feel to me and it shows that there is a future, you know, especially when we're able to link up and, and respect each other's diversity in the art forms of wherever occupation that we are. My name is Miss Carter and I'm from Brooklyn, New York and I've been teaching at the center for around 25 years. I teach West African dance, um, I teach Senegalese, Congolese, I do a little bit of Brazil and Haitian. Okay, so let's review. Remember, you step out, turn, one, two, three, step I out. I started dancing turn, on a bet. One, two, I was one of those kids that would start something and stop. And I, my mother gave me piano lessons and I took it and I quit. My, my mother bought me a piano and I quit. And she was like, oh, okay. But once I got introduced to the Congo, it was a done deal. <laughs> My thing is to turn out a well-rounded individual. That's what I'm about, is to, the person. You know, if you become a dancer, great. But if you don't become a dancer, that's great too. Just turn out to be a, a nice person. And that's what I'm about. <laughs> My name is Valerie Trout, and I'm from Oakland, California. I make several different types of music. Um, the source, the root of all the music is love. I'm really in interested in new language and in music that provides a fusion of sounds. Um, my heart, my soul is uh, tied to jazz, gospel, and music from the African diaspora. Everybody has a teacher inside of them um, because we're all learners. So we all learn things and we all see and hear things. So it's just really about accessing those different points or people that we um, have opportunities to share with, right? We're all teachers, we're all learners. Who been here since I was gone, right? You know, it's really important for people to make the connection between family, roots, art, and culture. We want to be. Change the framework and stand up for something. Well, Mary Baraka says, if you trace the music of a people, you will know where they have been and where they are going. So my question is, where are we going? Healing 
systems of care Transform ourselves into doers Building a world of care Who will take these steps into the future? Who will listen to the heart of man? Trust ourselves if we surrender to love.